choice is being usurped or, or, or taken away from us. Mm. What do you make of what? And, and I'm, I'm fascinated to ask you this because all the things that you've been talking about for years mm. are, I mean, we, we've come full circle on this stuff. And that's why I was so fascinated. And thank you for coming on the program. Sure. But here we are now, you know, 30 years after you were talking about mm. it, with this huge debate, this huge fight about whether or not our civil liberties are being taken away from yeah. us. What, what's, what, what are your thoughts on... Well, I think if you looked at, at the record of um, laws which have been passed in the last 30 to 40 years, there's a thing called social hysteria. Mm -hmm. Social hysteria is whipped up generally by the media. Uh, crime, in Nixon's time, crime was the big social hysteria issue. Well, there's too much crime, there's, we're, we're, they're coddling the courts, they're coddling the criminals, we have to tougher laws. So a lot of civil liberties went away in terms of um, the rights of criminals and the rights of the accused and, and the people going on trial. These, these were li limited, they were cut down. These rights which are guaranteed by the Constitution in the Bill of Rights. Uh, another social hysteria, drugs. The drug thing happened, same thing. Uh, big, big flow of drugs, we're going to fight the drugs, we need newer, tougher laws, we need draconian sentences, we need to be able to go into houses, we need to be able to do this, and we have reasonable, reason, you know, all of these, all of these shortcuts have, have resulted in less liberties because of social hysteria. The media f whips up the frenzy, people get all excited, mm -hmm. the legislature passes it, the presidents, the executive signs it, and the judges then, the, ju the uh, judicial branch okays it sometime later when it gets to them. Mm -hmm. and, and what has happened is you have less freedom, less liberties, less civil liberties, less rights. And the third social hysteria is terrorism. That, that was whipped up. Now there's it's a, little probably a little more cause there. You look at the 9-11, it's a very dramatic event. Mm -hmm. But that too has been used to, with, to, with this Patriot Act to reduce our liberties. They say, well, if you have nothing to hide, what are you worried about? You know that? That whole like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ask, tell me about the people that are, you know, just getting out of prison because of the DNA. If they got not, mm -hmm. had nothing to hide. Uh, it's, it's just, listen, th this country is, is owned by the ownership class. They do pretty much what they want. I figure it's like a freak show. Here's what I do. You know what I do? To me, if you're born in the world, yeah. you get a ticket to the freak show. They get a ticket to the freak show. If you're born in America, you got a front row seat. So <laughs> some people, some people are in the freak show. Yeah, we got our freaks. Yeah. Then some people, they uh, want to fix the freaks. Yeah. These are the ACLU lawyers, environmentalists. Well, let's fix the freaks. We're yeah. going to fix them up. Oh, isn't that terrible? Let's do this. And then there are folks who just watch the freak show. Yeah. As me. <laughs> and some of us get to write about it or talk about it. Right. And I do that. That's you too. Yeah. And say, oh, look at you. I, look how badly you're doing. I don't yeah. even I count myself in. Yeah. I say, look how badly you folks are doing. How did you do this to yourself? Why did you let them do this to you?